Howdy y'all, my name's Harper Ireland Brandt, and I hope you had a great cattle call last weekend. Now we would like to present the Thanksgiving special. It's called Captain Cook, and the leap for mankind, chapter one, chapter two. I hope you enjoyed the shows. Here is chapter one. Mr. Perkins Gill, what you up to? Hello, lad. Well, I'm working on a model of Captain James Cook's ship, the Endeavor. Cool. What's bothering you, lad? Well, I get picked on in school. Why do they pick on you? Because they think I'm a dork. I don't think you're a dork. Thank you. Now I gotta go. I have a book report to write. Wait. I've got something for you. Thank you. It's quite old. It belonged to me great, 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 great grandfather who sailed on board the Endeavor with Captain Cook. And it helped to inspire even the people going into space. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, thank you. I gotta run. You're most welcome. I hope that helps. Okay. Bye, Mr. Pickus. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Jake. And it helped to inspire even the people going into space. Chapter 1. To Far and Distant Places My story begins when I first had the privilege of serving aboard Captain Cook's ship, the Endeavour. 
Before we set sail from Deptford in England, he told me a great story about how he was called to the sea. Is everything ready? The Endeavour is ready, Captain. The crew is waiting for you. What is it, Captain? The sea. It beckons me. You know, not too long ago, I was working in the fields. I'll never forget the day when the sea first called to me. And when the ghost of my kin came to haunt me. Captain James Cook began his story, telling me of long ago, of how his father came from Scotland. After the last Jacobite uprising and the slaughter of the Scots at the Battle of Culloden, Mr. Cook headed south and married a woman by the name of Grace. The family settled in the Yorkshire village of Great Ayton. Mr. Cook became a gaffer on the Airy Home Farm, serving under Sir Thomas Scottow. Ah, uh, there you are, James. Where have you been? Roseberry topping. Yes, father. Right. Well, we got work. Mr. Cook ran the farm well with his son James and his daughter Christiana. So uh, beautiful. Thank you, father. Aye, aye. Now come on, son. Quit messing around. Let's get to work. James and Christiana would go to school and learn many new things about the world in which they lived. Must worship in spirit. At church, the family would listen to the priest. A woman said, I know that Messiah called Christ, is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. And Jesus declared, I who speak to you, am he. James felt sad, for his sister Mary died when she was very young. James would never forget her dying wish, and that was to climb Roseberry Topping. Roseberry Topping was a nearby hill and was well known by the locals. Life was simple and it was good. However, James was troubled that he couldn't go out and see places. He wanted to see the world. If only he could have his chance to escape. One cloudy and dreary day, a voice called to him. James was startled. 
who was calling his name. That night, James had a dream. Someone from the past was haunting him. This dream startled him. Was it really Mary? What was Mary trying to tell him? A few days had passed. As he worked on the farm, he was bothered by the dream. He would go to church and pray for guidance. Then one day the ghost of Mary called to him again. Mary was calling him to go up the mountain. So James climbed. James was so excited, he ran down the mountain, but 
By the time he got down, his father had some more work for him to do on the farm. James couldn't wait to tell his sister Christiana the news about Mary. It was a ghost, Christiana. It was her. Oh, oh it's cold. It's cold out there. Hi, Mother. Hello, children. Hello, Father. How are you? Yeah. It's good to see you. Oh, my God, that looks delicious, my love. Almighty God, we come to thee in thanks for the food you put on our table, for the roof over our heads, and the many, many blessings that you've given us. Make us thankful. Make us appreciate you, Lord. Dear God, I pray. Amen. So, James, I approve of the work you did today. Thank you, Father. Father? Aye, son. Do you believe in ghosts? Nonsense, boy. I heard something today. You've been nosing around the graveyard, haven't you? But, Father, I... Well, well, we may no talk about ghosts anymore. Now, Sir Thomas said he's coming by tonight. Says he wants to talk to you and I. He wants to talk about your future. Now, I want everyone to be on their best behaviour. We've got a lot to be thankful for, Sir Thomas. I mean, he's given us everything we have. Oh, speak of the devil. There he is. Mother, get a break. Ready for Sir Thomas, will you? Hello, Sir Thomas. Good evening. Come in, come in, please. Can I get you a drink or something? No, thank you. My, my business this evening is with young James. Oh, yes. Is he here? Aye, aye, he is. Please, come. Hello, James. Hello, Sir Thomas. I've got a plan for you. A plan for your future. I'm going to take you to Stades, where you will work for a man, a grocer named Mr. Sanderson. You will be his apprentice. Perhaps there, you will learn about the sea about the business of the sea trade. Sir, it is said. Prepare yourself, lad. You're bound for a great adventure. We leave on the morrow. Good night. Good night, Sir Thomas. Father? Father? James's father didn't want James to leave, but he knew it was the best thing for James to do. I'm going to stay. No, 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 no Father, James. you need my help. No, on the farm, James. Man. Listen to me. You remember that voice that you were hearing? I believe that it was Mary calling to you, lad. James, listen. Your mother, Mary, and I, we want to see what you can become out there. 
I love your son, and I always will. But this is your destiny. Now, James had a mission. Sir Thomas was going to show James the way to Staithes. His journey would soon begin. I hope you like episode one. We, we are going to be the kids in episode two. I hope you like episode two. Hope you like it. Cabin Cook and the Leap for Mankind. It, it's basically about a 
in Modern Day Kid. Uh, and he's reading a book, basically, uh, it comes to life. Hello, James. Hello, Sir Thomas. I've got a plan for you. A plan for your future. I'm going to take you to States where you will work for a man, a grocer named Mr. Sanderson. You will be his apprentice. Perhaps there you will learn about the sea and about the business of the sea trade. Young James told me you sold garments here. Why, yes, we did. So, it is said. Prepare yourself, lad. We're bound for a great adventure. I always wanted to do something that somebody was, you know, interesting. Really had a good story. It's really I, I have a really good ending because it's like all his conflicts, all his memory, the past. It's just like. You know, he just tried to do everything right. You know, he died, and then you have the, all the things with Maoris and Australians. Just the uh, Aborigines, all these things, all these conflicts. It wasn't really Cook's fault. He was just doing his job, so. Um, and he was doing a good job. He was wanting to explore, and that's what this kid was reading the book, and it's, um, he realizes it's, it's all about adventure. You gotta keep going exploring. No matter what, Kevin Cook will leave for mankind. We gotta keep going. Keep going. The fallen lads behind the drum, with colors blazing like the sun, along the road to come what may, over the hills and far away. Portugal and Spain, King George commands and we obey. 